Woke up this morning and I heard a message from one of my brothers, KP. My brother Ken. I want to thank you for that message, brother. It was right on time. It was nothing but the truth. Nothing but encouraging the elect. Um, opening your heart. Speaking from the heart. And just telling it like it is. The realities of what we're dealing with here. I thank you for that, brother. I thank you for being steadfast in your walk. Not losing out, not losing faith. And hanging tight to the truth. Hanging to our Savior. The Lamb. To our Father, Abba Yah. I'm thankful for brothers like you. But I just want to piggyback on your message about this social distancing and what it is that our enemy is trying to do to us. See, a lot of us don't realize that we have enemies <laughs> as God's elect. Marvel not if the world hates you. For it hated me before it hated you. You see? You will be hated of all nations for my name's sake. Look at these words. Hated. So on this journey, I mean, we suffer much tribulation and persecution. On this journey of life, we're living, chasing after truth, searching, hunger and thirsting after righteousness. You get met with a lot of tribulation, a lot of um, resistance from the enemy. <laughs> and right now he's trying to distance us from one another. And you say to yourself, you say, well, why? Because of some, some, uh, something going out, going down out here. Well, we got a social distance. Stay away from each other. We are social creatures. KP, in his video, he, in his message, he had made mention of I Am Legend. And he was talking about how social distancing actually affects people. The movie I Am Legend, do you remember Will Smith? He was walking around, he was looking at the mannequin, and he was like, somebody talk to me! Talk to me! Remember that? See, it's against our nature to be socially um, ripped apart from each other. You can literally go crazy if you're left alone for too long. And now they're literally telling you to cover your mouth, not talk, and and social distance and stay a certain amount of feet away from each other and all of this. How that affects you psychologically, emotionally. Are you guys even thinking of these things? How these things actually are affecting you? You know, it's, it's just like it's written. It says, you know, that because they want to believe a lie, the Most High going to give you a strong delusion. <laughs> and I understand what my brother was saying about having a heavy heart. I understand, brother. My heart is heavy, too. Because like you say, you look around and you look at all of these people without truth, devoid of understanding, and by their own choice, <laughs> by their own choice. It's not because it's not available, it's not there for them to find, it's just that they won't look, they don't seek, they don't knock, they don't believe truth. They'd rather believe the lie, just like he said. They would rather believe it. And that's sad. Because now you can't be set free. From all the things that you've been in bondage to. You can't be set free now. Because you don't know truth. And like the brother said in this video, when these storms come. When they come, you have to have truth. The rock of truth to smash all of these lies. Because that's what the enemy uses to attack you. You see, he uses your, he uses lies against you. And once you believe those lies, then you become one with him. He becomes your master. He becomes your God when you believe him. 
over the truth of what God has told you things are. If the Most High says, take no thought of what you eat, drink, or put on, then why do we have all this stress about those exact things, guys? Because we'd rather believe the lie that we don't have these things, that we're lacking all these things, that we're not lacking. The Most High said, take no thought. Do we believe His truth? Because that's the only thing that's going to get you through these storms, brothers and sisters, is the truth. His word will sustain you. His truth. And if you don't know it, then, then you're left desolate out here in this world. If you don't know his truth or if you resist it. But it's clear to see that just like KP was saying, that what the enemy is trying to do is trying to ostracize the elect, trying to put them off by themselves, separated from everyone else so that no one can see the light of truth and come to it before it's too late. He wants to separate them and keep cause distance between the two. You see? If we go back to Adam. Like in my previous video about the tender keeper, the tender keeper of the garden, the consciousness, the tender keeper. How are you going to do that if you don't know truth? How can you tend and keep the garden if you don't know what truth is? If you're still living in lies. And any man that knows and has had a family knows that once he gives up his truth, in exchange for a lie, then his house will fall. Once he starts lying, <laughs> once he starts believing lies, then his house will fall. You see? House must be built on truth and love. But, like my brother said, people's spirits are trod down. Their souls are all beat down. So that the light can't penetrate and enter in. So the, the heart has to be made ready to receive these things. It's like soil. You got to till it first, then put the seed in there. You just don't throw seeds on the ground. You got to prepare the soil first. Then you put the seeds in there. Then you'll have a, a fruitful plant that'll grow. Well, it's the same goes with you. And a lot of you ain't been made, your hearts have not been made ready to receive the truth. You're too hard-hearted. You're too bitter. You're too malicious. You think too much evil. You think in too much iniquity and too much wickedness. You're trying to get back at other people. You're trying to make people feel how the pain you felt. Trying to get people to see it your damn way. Trying to get even. And all this other shit. When all you're doing is setting yourself back, hurting yourself and digging up a grave for yourself. Then the Most High show you the right way to go. He shows you the better way to go. And you just resist. You just resist. You believe the lies instead of your enemies. Call up in your emotions. And, and, and can't control those. <laughs> and that's what the enemy is using against the elect. Their emotions. How they feel. That's what the enemy's using. And if you don't know it, if you don't recognize it, then you'll just continue to walk aimlessly in this world, guessing as to what it is, and being caught unawares and being caught off guard. But like I said, I just wanted to show some appreciation to my brother. An encouragement to my brother to continue on your walk of faith and endure and continue to let your light shine spread that truth because it does affect others who hear those words you know more than we think sometimes sometimes we speak the truth and we feel like nobody's listening and we feel like well, what's the point what's the point nobody wants to hear it's like the prophet said, you know, who believes our report? You know what I'm saying? Elijah was like, man, they already they killed all the prophets. I'm the only one left. 
So it's a it's a tough journey. It's a it's a it's a arduous journey. But it's necessary to bring us back home. So those who have been steadfast in their faith walk, keep the faith. Stick to the truth. All praise and glory and honor to Abu Yah and to the Son Yahusha. Silwan Yisraeli.